Hello, everyone. How are we today? Lori from Art Laura, thanks for joining me. So today, I got my schnifty new dryer. I think it's called the Wazor. The Wazor. Uh, this is the one that Karen uses, and I'm going to compare it to mine. Um, mine, um, I don't even know where I put it. Mine is a professional hair dryer that I got at the supply house. It was a Paul Mitchell. Um, I did notice that the opening on mine was larger, so you get more of a, uh, the petals are going to spread further out when you're, when you're doing blooms like, like what I do. Um, so I've also noticed that when I'm doing the medium high on mine, her high is um, maybe not quite as high as mine. And then I dropped it down one and it wasn't enough. It wasn't as high as this one. So I'm excited to try this today. So we're going to see if the dryers really do make a difference. Um, we're just doing a 16 by 20 today. I've got some fun colors and um, just using some up that I've already had before and then I added another one. So I think we're gonna get down to the canvas. It's gonna be a short video, I think. Um, gonna make a mess. Probably two blooms and who knows, I might uh, deconstruct it or spin it out. I'm not exactly sure. So, or maybe do all three, I don't know, we'll see. I've been kind of letting the canvas tell me what to do lately. And that's been kind of fun because it takes the pressure off me. I haven't been able to make any decisions lately and I don't know why, I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, Meh. So I was, you know, letting the canvas and the paint tell me what to do. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some fun with that and the new dryer. So let's get down to it. I will put you into frame and we're gonna bloom. Okay, so um, using up a couple colors here that I had set aside, been falling in love with um, indigo. Never, I've never used it. So um, I'm hoping that this pairs well with the colors that I have here. Um, but we're going to start out with nickel azul gold. And I didn't um, add a whole lot of... Um, nickel as a gold to to the pouring medium you know the more you add the darker it gets and I kind of wanted it lighter because I really want it to um, show up really pale next to the indigo and um, I have this color as well which is quite dark and I don't even know what this is I think that might be purple gray but I'm not real sure so we're going to do a bloom kind of here and a bloom kind of here so let's just start right in this area. We'll put a nice little blob there. And then here is my indigo. And this one is by, um, I need a little jigger here. This is Lucas indigo and it, it's pretty, really, really pretty. Um, I really like uh, how it dries. Uh, the blue is beautiful, and I don't know why I've never used it. Don't ask me. I sometimes, you know, I, I forget that there's other colors out there, and I had it in my bin, and it was like, okay, why are you not using this? It's beautiful. This is yellow ochre. I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't care for yellow ochre. Um, I love it, and I think it pairs really well with blues. So, but I'm not going to really bloop a bunch of it on there. I'm going to just kind of do this. And because I'm not real uh, keen on having this take over. Now you watch, you mark my words, we won't even see it. Because that's how I roll. Crazy as that may be. This is the Deco Art 24K. And um, I'm not going to be afraid to put that on there because I'd like to see some gold. And I put it after the ochre because I'm hoping that the two will pair together, marry together, and then they'll, uh, the yellow ochre will get a shimmer from the gold. 
And then here we have, which is a little thick. Um, I want to say it's purple gray, but I don't remember. It's been sitting on my table for a couple days. So we're just going to put a bit right there. Oh, I'm excited. A new dryer. Okay. Aussie Flow. Oh, PPG Multi Pro is my pillow. Eggshell. And it's the, it's the uh, interior, if I didn't say that already. Uh, Aussie Flow. Three to one with the Amsterdam Oxide Black. So let's do this. Put a fair amount right there. And I think I put way too much. Okay, here we go. Maiden Voyage. Okay, boy, that is so different than mine. It's um, much softer. Um, yeah, I really like it, I think. I think I'm gonna really like it once I get used to it. Um, okay, so let's do one like right there. And we're going to do it in the same order. Uh, the yellow ochre, it did show up, not nearly as much as I thought. Um, so, but that's okay because I didn't want to have it overpowering. So we're going to do one right there. That is a nice dryer. Wow, I really like it. Okay, here's my blue, my beauteous blue. Yeah, what the heck, let's just do a bloop right there. A little bit more of a bloop. There we go. We're going to weave in our gold. I love doing it that way because it, um, you can see the gold in there, you can see the gold in there, and it's soft. It just gives everything just kind of a little bit of a shimmer, and that's kind of fun. I may have to encourage that a little bit. Here is the last color, the mystery color. Let's do that, because I don't mind seeing a little bit of that. Okay, I think I added too much cell activator last time, so let's just add less this time. If I can get myself to do that. All right, here we go. High fan, cool air.
Okay, looking good. So let's uh, do my sides and encourage this and encourage that. And then we'll be back to either spin, tilt, or both. Right back. Okay, ready to spin a rooney here. Hopefully we're good here. Um, actually, I think I am going to just lift this up and kind of seal that down a little bit so it sticks um, to the board because I have it on a little tiny spinner, a little cake spinner, but this uh, canvas is too big for the spinner, so I have it on top of a board and it's, it's um, in the center, and but I want to stick it to the board, and hopefully won't go anywhere. But we're not going to be crazy. Hold on, I see something white that I don't like. Oh, you know what? That's a little something something there. Got to get out the tweezies. Gotcha. I don't know what that was. Lord only knows. It probably came from my hands because they're really bad. Okay, let's do this. We're just going to go real small. See where the paint leads us. I, I just, I really want to, I really want to um, see a bloom. But I think I have a lot of paint on here. So I may end up tilting, but we'll see. We shall see. Wow, those colors are gorgeous. Love the colors. Okay, let's go that way. All right, let me just peek at it. Oh, it's so pretty. This has to come off though, because I don't really like that. I don't mind this, but I don't like the whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't like that. So um, let's do it. Um, let's go that way. And then we'll take it back the other way and see what happens. Um, boy, there's a lot of paint in the center. I may have put too much paint on. But that's, you know, at least I'm consistent. I have a tendency to overdo it with the pillow. And then I have my moments when I don't do enough. And you can tell because the paint doesn't move well, it doesn't sell up well, and you, um, can't spin it out well. So I've learned that lesson the hard way. Okay, that's not coming off like I want it to, so I may have to live with that, but it's looking pretty cool. So let's just go this way. And I just may have to kind of tilt that off just a teeny bit. And I think that would work. But let's just see if I can move the paint in that direction a little tiny bit. In fact, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is, yes, because it is coming. Um, I think I'm just going to move it just a scant in that direction. And I don't think I'll lose it, but that will encourage that to come off. I think, we'll see. Oh yes, it's coming. Much better. One more little tiny spot. Whoa, you watch that and man, do you get dizzy. Okay, there we go. Oh yes, that is so pretty. So now what I'm thinking is maybe 
because I have such a tiny little spot of negative space there and not a whole lot there, but I do like that look. Um, and I like how this is all wispy and cool looking and very um, mm, smoky. It's kind of smoky looking. So let's measure. That will help me decide. may have to do it one more time or I can chance it um, that's not so bad it was just right here in the center and you know I, I, I think I well, there's a couple little white white guys there I don't want those there oh I made it worse hold on there we go um, hmm. Huh. Okay, we're going to spin one more time, and I know I'm going to lose my negative space there, but that's okay. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to think. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to get a fresh skewer that has a really, really nice point to it. That is not one of them. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. So let's just do this again. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, that is a little up there. All right, we're just going to go tiny. Let's just do it tiny. We'll just go this way, just a little, just to kind of move that center, just to kind of get it away from the center. If I lose my space, negative space, I lose it, whatever. Like I said, you know, sometimes the paint and the canvas has to tell you what to do. Well, there is a little tiny bit there, and there is a little tiny bit there. So we at least we know it did move. I love this piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let's take you down and uh, let you see the results. I love, I love the um, the colors. I think the colors are gorgeous. I almost like the orientation this way, from here up. With I like this one in the right, in the left corner, and I like this action here going down. Whoops! Whoa. I got a drip on my hands. Um, I really like how this is kind of just sitting off center on the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of pretty looks to this. I love it. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna take you down. Okay, ooh la la. Isn't that pretty? The indigo is gorgeous as well as, and do you see the, the nickel azul gold in some spots like right in here, right there, you know, it's just kind of got that nickel azul gold going, but it's not super dark. And, but yet it's scrumptious. All right, so there we have that. And here is our top bloom which is absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I would so appreciate it. And if you'd like, oops, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, bye.